So while, while, um, while Kai is updating the comments and having a look, we're, we're just going to um, give a few announcements. So Kai and I have been talking and we're going to mix it up a bit today. <laughs> So it's not going to be um, just cards and numerology. It's going to be whatever is guided, but we're going to give you a few options. So you can choose. So you can choose. Um, you can, if you wish to ask a question around shine your light or around any of the topics that we'll go into in a few seconds. Um, if, if you want to ask a question, you, you are quite welcome to ask a question. If you want to have some help with a particular challenge around, around those themes, you can do that. Um, if you want to have a card, you can have a card. If you want to, um, and I'm going to introduce something new. <laughs> and I'll show you I, the I can, cards. I, I have. have, you can choose, I have the animal cards and the spirit and the muse tarot. So you can choose as well what you would like to. Mm -hmm. And Antoinette has a few options today. And I also have a few options. So I've got my own card decks. And so this one's about, whoops, I've got to get this right. Um, this is about soul and spiritual self-alignment. So around shining your light and around your soul mission. And then also working your light card deck by Rebecca Campbell. But I also have, um, I want to introduce something new that I loved working on when I was actually studying metaphysics. It was one of my assignments. And for, for those of you that, um, so I actually created my own runes. So just a short, um, if people don't know what a rune is, um, it's, it's actually comes from paganism. It's, it's a very ancient, um, ancient tool that was used to by the seers and, and to, give, to give guidance. So um, I actually created my own and went through a process of channeling and channeling messages and also um, creating them. So I'll just give you a little bit of a sneak peek about what they look like. So these are my runes. And if you would like a rune reading, please put it in the comments. Um, if you want a specific reading from a specific card deck, please put it in the comments. So we're just going to leave it all up to you guys and we're going to mix it up and make it make it more fun because it's always been fun, but make it more fun and um, and allow you guys to do to ask um, you know for whatever option that you are most aligned with. So so for those of you that don't know us, my name's Antoinette and I'm an intuitive healer and writer. And this is Kaya from Heart to Heart. And we have been doing this beautiful co-creation now since January. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We started January with an, the idea of just one event. And then this came out. Here we are. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> So, so yeah, so it's been, it's been a journey for us and we've loved doing this. We absolutely look forward to it. And from now on, unless something happens within both of our schedules, we'll be doing the live on the first Sunday of the month. And then the Wisdom Gathering Circle, which is our little circle where we dig deep and um, provide an intimate space for whoever wants to join to come in and, and dig deeper. So that will be on the second Sunday of the month. So just a bit of a change there um, going forward. That that is the plan, but we are in a universal five years, so anything can change, but <laughs> for the moment, if this is our idea, <laughs> everything can change. That's right. For the moment, this is our idea. So um, so yes, yeah, so that will be going forward. Um, any more announcements, Kaya? Yeah, what I would like, because we talked a lot of what what give we out, what get we, and what we get, we um, we get a lot of experiments, and and this is an experimental room for us. So I have the idea as well, but I will not start today because I'm still on my phone work. Maybe I will I will do little paintings when Antoinette starts the readings for people. I think I will start this next month. And maybe Beautiful. if you 
lovely people watching here would like to write a little um, comment on our pages on Antoinette's and mine on the recommendation, how you find it, I don't know, something like this, this would be beautiful. I can, really I can appreciate tell that. as well that we had one people donating for this event today. You are here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, really yeah, appreciate just, it. Just to have a look. So if we can make an exchange and uh, we will go on anyway with this and have fun. And I think mm -hmm. this is on the announcement. And then I don't know, Antoinette, if you want to start with talking about the, the energies a bit or I can read. What yeah, I can yeah, sure. Do that. Sure. Um, so, so I'm going to start. So I'm, I'm determined that this uh, technology is not going to beat me. So I'm going to share something and I, hopefully you can all see it. Um, this was one of the posts I put up on the 1st of June. Um, and we're just going to talk about briefly some of the themes that um, are going to come up for June. So the theme for tonight more or less, is stand in your power and shine your light. And the message that, the channeled message was step into your power and shine your light, bold and bright. Hence, we're wearing nice bright colours tonight. So, so June is going to be all about standing in your power and shining your light. So uh, I will go through one by one. So if we have a look at um, the themes, and hopefully you can all see it on your screen, and the drawing is actually one of my drawings. Um, yes, I, I do draw. <laughs> so that is another, another gift that I've been blessed to have. And you will see it in my new card deck when, um, when it gets finally published because the illustrations are mine. So that is coming soon. Um, so you look at the, the distinct yin and yang. So June is, is a six in numerology and it's all about balance. And the yin and yang is such a classic, classic, classic tool for us to, to know about balance and harmony and inner peace. So if you all have a bit of a look at that picture, like some of the themes are gonna be inner peace, balance and harmony, Connections with friends, family and soul tribe. Self-care. Beauty. And that's not just outside beauty, inner beauty as well. Home. Making your home more comfortable and more you. Love. Authenticity. And soul mission. So all of those themes will come up, maybe some more than others, it's it's a it's a time of immersing ourselves in love, and that means self love and also with others, and connection. It's a time of balancing inner peace, finding that inner harmony within ourselves. And June of two thousand and twenty one, in particular, is the energy of an of an eleven. An eleven in numerology is a master number, and it's all about being a spiritual messenger. So. It's a very, it's a very beautiful um, time. I, I want to say like it's that sort of month where it's like you're giving yourself a big, big, big hug and, and allowing yourself to take care of yourself and just immersing yourself in the love because we've been working so hard already in this, in this first six months of this year and particularly with the eclipse season being on us and all the washing machine energies that we feel like we're going through every single cycle and, and Saturn being retrograde and things coming up from karmic partnerships and things that we have to look at. And for me personally, I've been going through a lot of transition and leaving a lot of baggage behind. And it feels like I need to do all of that in order for me to move forward in, in this new direction that I'm going to be going with my Oracle cards and whatever the universe <laughs> is, is wanting me to do. So very, very important to find your inner balance and, and, and to immerse yourself in the love of the universe, the love of your connections, connect with friends, with family, with soul tribe, people that really appreciate and love you and hold you dear and support you. So that's really, really important. To, to do that this month. So now I'm going to uh, share 
another page, which is Kaya's painting, as she will read for us yes. the, the short intuitive guidance that she has for June. Before I do that, just I, I was reading your comments and I will ask again. So you can now, while I read this, have a look for yourself. For me, you can have a wish. So we will, we will in any case, do both readings for everybody. So if you want an animal spirit or a muse tarot, this is what I propose today. And Antoinette is proposing the, um, I can't it's it. soul spiritual and self alignment deck here or on the, the here work on your life deck or the or rooms, your life deck. or a numerology. So you can write it down. You have a lot of options. And, and for those and that miss out about the runes, this is what the runes look like. So basically, I will pull a rune for you and then give you the associated message. And and Antoinette made them by them by by herself as well. I don't know if you have mentioned that. Yeah. This is really amazing. And if you have a special question, write it down now and we will read them after. I have already the birth dates of Zara, Anka, Sita and Clarissa. So I don't know if this means you would like to have a numerology. You can change this now with all these options. Absolutely, you can. It's it's we've, we're changing it up. So it's it's if you want to go back to the what we were giving before, that's perfectly fine. If you want to try something new and jump out of that comfort zone, like like Kara and I have been, <laughs> <laughs> so come and jump with us and um, try something new. So you know whatever. So we will go through the comments, and as Kaya reads out her intuitive guidance, I will have a look at the comments and I'll update whatever needs to be updated if you've changed your mind and do write down the birth dates as well. Okay. So thank I you, Kaya. I, I think most of you are maybe all of you you're in at the moment. No, I just painted. I have my travel version here. An artwork in January for the 12 months. And we are now in June. This yellow one, what we Look at the base for our announcement as well. And I found actually, well, the earth is calling. I found so interesting now. I can turn out all the little readings in at the beginning of the year. And I often forgot what I have channeled to rediscover what I have written. I have made a little video as well about this channel. So if you want to re listen, you will find it on my page on Facebook, Instagram, and on YouTube. So I will read the informations I got while I was painting for June. Sunny yellow is the color of this month. We will need all what we have prepared as for in this month, on all levels. We are asked to step in our full power now, to stand firmly grounded no matter what happens around us. This month feels for me as if the earth is shaking as if there will be massive breakdowns and breakthroughs in June. A lot of souls that have fulfilled their soul missions will leave us as well. We will need our deep connection with our heart as well as with soul family, friends, family and loved ones. This month will bring us closer together with souls that are on the same vibration and life path, that are here to be supportive and part of the change. And we will have to let go of those that will, that will choose other paths for this moment of time. June will wake up a lot of souls that will feel lost and need support. They can't any longer ignore that what they believed in is the truth is far away of the truth of their nature. June will bring needed shocks and eruptions on a collective level is also in our private lives. Have a look that you eat well, take care of your body, be lovingly with yourself, clean your energy regularly, ground and breathe. Breathe and think in your heart, all is well. All what happens is for you, for all of us. The highest good of mankind and all living beings here on earth and in the universe. So trust, root yourself in Mother Earth, Connect with her. You are here now to step into your soul mission. You are here now to be an important part of creating new earth. 
what I found amazing, I just I, I posted these on I just do little posts with parts of this on on Facebook and on Instagram. And there was a woman writing me on Instagram. She's working with a lot of native. She's a psychologist and working with Native Americans. And she mm. told me after this this part of souls will leave that have fulfilled the soul mission that she observed that a lot of them is passing now at this moment wow. of time. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I was touched when she was writing that to me. That's so beautiful. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to Ooh. share this. Yeah, a little anecdote. It was really so wow. Yeah, yeah. That's that's beautiful. And to have such a shamanic I really connect with shamanic. So with Native mm -hmm. American, I, I really have a strong connection. So that's beautiful that she was able to respond and, and let you know that that's 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 awesome. That's so yeah, nice. this, is, this is what I love so much when I, I channel these. So I'm a channel. I write down and for sure there's a part of my energy in this, but it's in my information and then get get from others, like not a confirmation, but hearing things around Resonant. channelings and and i i remembered this the june i found it stick out a little bit here as well in this painting because it's just his heart shining and not not much more going on mm. but it felt always for me like really um a pivotal moment in this year when something yeah. big is happening or shifting yeah yeah and we forgot to mention that today is the 6th of the 6th and yes. we did not realise that when we decided to go to the first Sunday of the month and then it was actual double confirmation because another huge portal say amplify, amplified love today, amplified yes. all of those themes. So um, it's beautiful that it, it fell in line with the date that we chose. So it was just totally, totally synchronicity total synchronicity so so while you were reading Kaya Sally has has jumped in so thank you Sally for coming nice to see you again Hi, um, Sally. we will just reiterate for the people that are coming in today we're mixing it up um, you may ask what you if you would like a card reading if you would like a numerology reading or if you would like a rune reading and the runes are my runes that I created. So it's they're basically stones which have been channeled and um, have gone through a process of energy, energy, um, oh, I can't think of it, alignment, I guess, whatever, whatever the word is, the word is just not coming. Um, so, and I can give you a message with those as well. So I will be guided to choose one for you. So if you would like that, you can please write down in the comments. So to help us out, if you could please write in the comments, what type of reading you have, you, you would like, if you have a specific question, some people have already written that whatever whatever comes, which thank you very much because it will be it will be everything will be guided. Um, Christiana, I've noted that you want that you would like a rune reading, so that's beautiful. Clarissa would like a card reading. So, for those that haven't specified um, or are happy to have whatever, we will just go with the guidance that we're that we're given. So in, in any case, I can tell you, you will get readings from both of us, not either Antoinette or me. That's we right. will amplify our wisdom or our channelings. And yeah, I just, I noted what what was written down. Awesome. So, and maybe Antoinette, you can close the... I shall the close house. this, then you can then see us again. we are better too, and then our cards. Okay. So... Let me start so with Zara. Happy. And Zara, okay. let's start with Zara. It will come through. Okay. All right, Zara. <laughs> Zara wants to know if I'm going to be selling my runes. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't actually know that, Zara. So that's something to that's something um to think about. But I yeah. know already, Antoinette. Should I start and you 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 will come later in? Yes. Okay. Yes. The news tarot wants to come to you, Zara. So you have not a specific question. What will be 
the guidance around shine your light for Zara. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's deciding today. Oh wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is the car coming. And you know Zara, I'm not in ter uh, uh, terror reader, so this is the night of inspiration. I go with the with the picture and the energies. And this is just amazing yes. what, what I feel when I see this card. I just, I, I, I got, this is your energy and fireworks coming up for you now. So okay, I just, the first is always I have to come in but but the, the, the things coming coming through though there's so much as you I you have stepped back a bit and and you concentrate so much more on yourself at the moment and this is like I come back to the, the last reading when we had this card and you're juggling around with everything and a bit you're amazing in this but what you have reclaimed your power and concentrated now and this will go on in June that really you, as if you have reclaimed all the parts you need and come so much more back to yourself, that you will, you are already such a powerful being, but you will be provided, provided with another form of power now, from now on. It's like a concentration in yourself. The power is concentrating in you. And it is something like so interesting because it's, it's on one hand, you are in the preparation for something really big. And it is already taking place. I don't know how to explain this. It is in any case a big confirmation that what you're doing at the moment, this is this kind of stepping back, is the absolute perfect aligned thing. And what what I got now, it has something to do with your work in the bank as well. So that is as if your spiritual power, your spiritual wisdom. But you have shared a lot with your page and this is you, you have stepped back now. It is merging with your work in the bank. And and I know I have channeled this. I don't know. No, I don't have. I, I got the information that the bank system will, will get a big, big, big shake up this year as well. Maybe it's coming soon because there's something not in order. And you are a part of creating a new bank and money, money system. And this is what is happening at the moment with, with this power of this horse and spreading your light anyway. So everywhere you're going, you spread your light. So you don't need to post things. It's just your pure presence when you are really with yourself and concentrated. It's so much, well, power, the word power is coming through all the time. And so much will go out for it. This is what I see here in these fireworks. So much will now open up for you and on every level. It's not just work. It's it's with your son as well. You take more time for your son. That's really beautiful as well. And and um, I got laugh as well. And this is interesting because the laugh, there are a lot of things unfolding in front of you. And the laugh is like, behind you or you don't see it not yet and and everything is perfect with this as well it's not that you don't want to see it but there's something unfolding while you concentrate on other things and most of all on yourself yes it's just amazing it's just just when i tap in this energy it's so you will go 
and there's nothing holding you back, not on the outside and not any longer in, on the inside as well. So as the outside was always a reflection on what was holding you back in your inside. And there's something has really profoundly ch changed and shifted now. So I give to Antoinette. And thank you, Zara, too, for being here. Awesome. So, Zara, you're going to be my first room reading on live. Um, I've been guided to show you a rune, but um, just in relation to that card, I see an explosion and it's a good explosion. Like it's, 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 it's almost like, you know, when a firecracker is, is all um, packed up and, and just all, and it's got the little wick up the top ready for someone to light it so that it can just open up and show all its beauty. And it's such a beautiful card for shining your light too. Um, and I think that's what's happening with you in that you, you, this, this firecracker that has been, you know, packed in and, and, you know, so many things going on, but now this, this light's coming, this, this fire, this fire within is coming and lighting that wick and it's just going to, it's just going to open up into these, these beautiful colours. So, yeah, I feel excitement with that card as well. So... Okay, Zara, so this is your rune. Now let me make sure that you're seeing it properly. Oh, wow. So these, these runes are um, come from a special place for me, which is the beach, and I collected them and went through the ritual and actually created them. So, so I have, I have um, the explanation, like for this one. So... Zara, what, what it's saying is honesty. So this particular rune is around honesty. Search for it. It will be given unto you in words and actions. So the message that I'm getting with this rune is you've done the right thing by stepping back because it's allowed you, we'll step back, I guess, in the public view, not, not so much in the private, private view, but it's given you a chance to connect with your inner honesty. It's given you a chance to sit and have a look at what you want, what you want to keep, what you don't want to keep. What is the thing that most aligns with you? And it's time for you now to connect with that. And that the rune says search for it. So I have a feeling that it it's it's there really deep inside of you. And if you're honest with yourself, you actually know what it is, what it is that you that you want to go to move forward with. Um, and it says it will be given unto you in words and actions. So my advice to you would be immerse yourself in that love, immerse yourself in that honesty, especially in June for this month and find your balance. You know, find now that you've taken away some of the um, other things, you're actually stripped back to your honesty and where you are and you've got time to actually sit with it and spend time with yourself and, and I'm just I'm drawn to, to draw um, one of the, the soul spiritual and self-alignment cards can I, can I just tell something interesting when I saw this rune and this round for me the word concentration comes again concentration yes. inside and then it is <laughs> Yeah. So this it's like this little movement of, yeah. going, yeah, and then yeah. this will happen. Absolutely. So it, 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 that's a good pickup because from the actual picture, you can see the little circle, which is your soul, which is you in inside, and then it's expanding into the big massive circle, which is which is in in line with the explosion of the firecracker or firework. I don't know if you guys call it firecrackers. We, I don't know if that's an Australianism or not, but but very true, very true that the actual symbol itself and and it's you know it's it's the core of you, you know the honest you, the be honest with yourself 
and and then you can spread it out to the world. So I'm just going to, this card is flown out, <laughs> literally flown out, Zara. So it's an alignment key. So this deck has got nine master cards and then alignment cards. So this is your alignment card. So if you look at that one, it, it's talking about integration and, and without reading what's down lower. <laughs> the flow I can is there again. <laughs> An integration. Also, so it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. So again, you know, the circles, the circles are coming into it and and the it's almost like the, the drawing here as well is is like shining your light and, and lighting up and and allowing yourself to to go within the core and it's again the same as the firework and the same as the the rune with the the circular so so Kai if you want to put your card up as well we can show her the three at the at the same time and and just oh, gotta love it um but see the alignment and the integration that that's going that will go on um I can read you the, the message that it says on the bottom. We are all things to all people. Find what works for you. Inner harmony comes from choices that serve your highest good, which puts you in sync with your divine purpose. So I, I really felt like I needed to draw this card just to give you a little bit more. Um, we're not hammering you, Zara. Um, just to give you a little bit more um, validation, I guess, for shining your light from the inside, you know, and, and you being you being honest and spending time with yourself and finding that inner balance. And, and June's going to be the perfect month for you. And, and I I just get this warm, fuzzy feeling inside that it's it's you're going to really, really grow this month. And spend the time with yourself that you deserve so that you can you can shine you know start shining like this picture and let the firework and the rune as well so for me it's really this process you the more you go inside the more you shine mm. without any effort it is it is it's for our our mind it might be sound contradictive again but the more you concentrate the more it goes out yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely the way I, I think perhaps before you, you had this belief or understanding that you had to be out there to shine. Um, but it's, it's really, it's shining from within and your energy from within will then, when you build that energy and you grow that energy within, you won't even have to make much effort because it'll, it, you shine anyway. So... So, um, yeah, so that's beautiful. So you've, and thank you for being my first room reading. And thank you, Universe, for guiding me because Zara said whatever and you got whatever. <laughs> you know, Antoinette, Zara posted a really interesting question for you. If you will yes. share your runes someday yes. as well. So <laughs> there are good information for us coming through as well. Thank you, Zara. That. Yes, I'll keep you posted on that. I, I haven't thought of it. Um, I'm really focused on, on my card deck at the moment, but it it's yeah, I'll I'll give it some I'll give it some thought. I'll I'll really give it some thought because they, they are very, very special to me. So and, and thank you for that suggestion. <laughs> and thank you for all the support that you give us. And and I know it's very late for you, so you can finish up folding that laundry now and go to bed now <laughs> and go to bed and we stay in contact thank you thank you Zara. thank you Zara. i hope that helps okay so, who have we got next we have anka and she has written whatever comes through as well would you like to uh, to to start antoinette yeah um anka 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 right, okay Anka, they want me to, to do um, a card. So I'm going to draw a card for you from the Soul, Spiritual and Self-Alignment deck. Card for Anka. 
Okay. So two came flying out. That I believe that there's an order. So this is your first card, Anka. Happiness. Happiness. Sorry, I'm still getting used to holding up these cards in the camera. <laughs> so, so when I look at this card, for me, it's you're standing right at the door. You're standing right at the door, but there's still a little bit of fear there. And to you, the door is just so... Um, there's this feeling of uncertainty and insecurity and and where you are is nice and comfortable and 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 you're you're in this like this cocoon protected and and that but you have the key in your hand and this card is an alignment um, an alignment card so it's it's not it's not a master key card however it is an alignment card and I feel like your soul really wants you to be happy and maybe there's still a little bit of fear there and uncertainty, but to you, to you, you're standing right at the door and, and it's almost like you've got your hand on the key but you, you, you're just afraid to just, like, turn it. And, and that's all good because we all, we all stand at the door and think, yeah, I'm not walking through that one. Um, <laughs> and believe me, you know, we are all, all afraid. So it's, it's, but I feel like that there is so much light behind that door that you're, you're shifted through so much, so much of your shadow and you're shifting and you're transforming and you're moving. And, and it's almost like with the key being rusted, it's almost like, your that's all the old patterns it's all the old belief systems it's it's all the old stuff that you need to get rid of and that you have been getting rid of and you're just at the door waiting for the time for you to turn the key and once you turn that key there's so much happiness i i you know and and it'll bring you what i'm receiving is you need to align with happiness so do whatever makes you happy you know it's it's really sometimes hard for us to do what makes us happy but it's in the month of June and to have that internal harmony and that internal peace we need to make ourselves happy and sometimes in order for us to make ourselves happy we have to take some steps that are really uncomfortable or the steps may be leaving people behind or leaving things behind and that can bring sadness, but I think I think the the focus for you is actually leaving your hand on that key and having the strength to turn it to open the door. Because what lies what lies beyond is is like once you open that door, you're going to let all this light in, and the shadow will the to me it's a real polarity between shadow and light so walking out of the shadow opening the coming to the door having the strength to turn the key open the door let the light come in and the light and happiness will guide you forward it's it's almost like I'm getting this feeling like once you let that light in whew, it's just going to catapult you forward and you're never going to look back again ever So I'll let Kaya um, have her see what she's channeling. And, and, so just, and I'll... just so I, I'm I'm deeply touched. And what's so interesting when I see this card, which is because I watch it, it is as if the key is in front of you, and all you have to do is to grab it. Yeah. And and also when the door is opening, it's not just the light is coming in, but your light is going out then as well. So as if you're standing in front of this door. Yeah, you don't have the key at the moment. It's just there. And it's really your free will to grab it. And there's so much, this fear is also to step out of the well-known, even when it's uncomfortable. 
and and we all now <laughs> i'm an expert how how we we hold ourselves back back because of the not knowing of the unknown and the fear even when there's a feeling that it's beautiful mm. and i just i will pull an animal spirit for with this question i will ask question what can support you with this fear and with really making this step so guidance for, thank, well, for me the cards pulling <laughs> mm -hmm. They go to the floor today. Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. There's strong energy. I will show you the first one and I will discover with you the second one together. The first one is Visit Spirit, Dream the World into Being. And why this? I just. Interesting. What's coming up when I see this card and connect with with your energy? It's 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 a deep sadness. It's not just fear. There is like some grief to do for you still to really let go. And if you're hanging on on something, you know it's not functioning and, and it hurts. And to let this go, to be able to grab the key finally, there's some really grief work to do. And when this is what, what I see, this is little, the little he sees already. Have a look. For me, I, I see sadness, a lot of sadness. He sees where to go and he's carrying there's an opening on his back. It's interesting. I see like an opening and the light is in there. But it's like a wound as well at the same time. And his wings are not ready to fly at the moment. He knows where, where to go. He knows, you know, here are the miracles unfolding when he's grimping out, when he's taking the key. And there's a little work to do. To grab this key, to, to, to this, this key. <laughs> and everything is perfect with this as well. And that's the second card behind. I haven't seen yet. So we will discover this together. The cat spirit. Oh, this is interesting. Claim your independence. And this cat has wings. So it's like two steps for me. Yeah. Or three steps. This is the first one, the second one, and then, then the key. And then unlock the door. And then I have a fourth as well, because there was another card that okay, I Okay, would... so we have four steps for you. So for me, the cat is one step further, and, and this claim your independence. So what you feel dependent to, or to whom you feel dependent, and what is holding you back in, an, in a feeling of you can't leave this this one or this person behind what might be needed to make this step. And once I, I got the same information, once you did this step, you will not look back and this will be healed and, and you will be open to receive love as well. What is a big step? So I just, uh, I'm at the moment, I'm so confronted with receiving love or what we wish and <clears throat> When we are not used to that, it's not easy. It's not all your system is in 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 uh, crying. Take care, this is dangerous. So, but have a look at this cat. She's looking back still. But for me, it's so why have I been there for such a long time? She has already done the step to to overcome the grief mm -hmm. and to take the decision to move on. The wings are growing. And have a look. Her, her third eye is highlighted. And she's really, wow, it's, it's, a, it's a Native American cat. It's a beautiful cat. Yeah, it's, it's very beautiful. So, There's the dream patches. Yeah, yeah, what is interesting with 
dream the world into being. So maybe connect with daydreams or dream, dream like allow yourself, allow yourself to dream about your perfect living. How you would feel like, how this would look like, how people would treat you, how you would treat people. Dream about that, allow yourself the dreams. The one step as well. So I give to Antoinette for the fourth step. Yeah, I I was guided to keep this one, Anka, until Kaya did did hers. So and it's the same card that I pulled out for um, oh. Zara. So working on the integration, on the sorry, on the independence of the cat, and and it's funny because like in the lizard you had. The broken wings and then in the cat the wings are actually forming so i feel that whatever this is that you need to work through anka it's it's big and it's it's really really confronting for you and it it, it has been giving you a lot of pain for quite some time that's why that when you go to that door the door is very, I feel the door is very heavy and, and it's it's a big door. So, and once you walk through it, you cannot go back. So it, it's 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 a very much a challenge for you to, to grab that key and turn it. Um, but what I'm getting for this card for you for integration is that you've got to integrate everything that you've learned, all the wisdom that you've gathered, all the pain that you've and the trauma that you've collected and you've got to acknowledge it, love it, feel it, embrace it and then it will give you the next step to integration. They're saying without, without you really sitting with it, you can't open that door. You, you, you will not open that door. And that door is your future, and and it it this, you're getting frustrated and you're getting impatient, but they're really wanting you to to in, to to go right to the core now. So I feel it's very confronting for you, and perhaps you you will need support. You you don't have to do it alone, and you know there are a lot of people that can support you. And I want you to know that you are not alone. And whatever whatever this is, is that is is going to be really really pivotal for you. And but you need to take your time. You need to take your time because you need to be ready when you when you you need to have integrated all your wisdom and all your all your knowledge before you can open that door. So take your time and have patience and do step by step, which. I know you're already doing. So you are not alone, Anka. No, and I just, the, the key will, will last until the moment you're ready to grab it. So you don't have to fear or to, to have a pressure and think you have to do it all at once now because this door will vanish. The key is there for you. And you yeah. will reach the moment as well that you're ready yeah. to grab it and open the door. Yeah, yeah. I hope that helps, Anka. Yes. All our love to you. We stay in contact anyway. We do. Thank you. Thank you. So, okay, who have we got next? Sita? Sita. And I just... Now, Sita. Numerology and... Animal deck. Animal deck. Okay. So yeah. And I hi, Danny. Yeah, Danny's, Danny's jumped on. Jumped on. Um, and Danny has said whatever, whatever we're guided. So she's happy. And I know I, I, I have the feeling, Sally, you haven't said now what you want or if you, if you have a special oh. wish. Just you have. Sally has said whatever. Thing. He's happy to get whatever. Okay. Kaya. So just quick jump to Sita. We know you're on your way now, Sita. 
Yes, we do. A card for Sita and animal card. She has a specific question, Kaya, too, about relationships. Yes. Sita? Yes. Yeah. I guess this is what I, I know. What have you got to know in regard to relationships? This card wants to come out. Have a look. <laughs> this fan spirit. Time for a deep dive. I'm <laughs> just I'm already touched just by pulling this card. And the first information coming through for you that there's so much sweetness in store for you once you tap in your own sweetness. And sweetness in a sense of, of this, on one hand, strong femininity, and on the other hand, the really the receiving one. To, to connect deep with your feminine energies. And When I tap into your, yeah, I, I know a bit of your family and, and how you live. So you're the one holding the family together energetically and very practical as well. So, and you have, I don't know how many kids, but you have some. <laughs> and your husband. And it's, it's not about changing so much. It's one thing to tap more into your heart and trust in the wisdom and power and self-responsibility of all your family members. Out of your heart. Tap in your heart space, not the head. The head wants to support everybody, to help everybody. And you do this out of a, out of a masculine energy. It comes out of your intuition and of your love, for sure. And the more you can tap into your heart and, and really dive deep into your heart and just connect from your heart to the hearts of your loved ones. And leave them, in a way, leave them. Leave them all in the wisdom and power because you have amazing children. The more you can reconnect with your femininity, and this will have an effect of your relationship. Because your whole family, and I, I, at the moment I talk about your family because this is the first step to, to, um, to change your relationship in the direction you wish for. Of course, all this is interconnected for sure. As you have children, it's not just you and your husband or not just you and your love. It's a whole system. And, and you're the manager of the system at the moment. And this is something you ask to step back on the outside, on this organization level and, and really reconnect with this soft and, and you're nourishing everybody around you anyway, if you do something or not because it's your nature. And at the moment, yeah, this is interesting. This is now coming why I had this family thing all the time. At the moment, you're more the mother than the woman in your family system. And this has an effect on your relationship for sure, because when you're the mother, you are not, um, your mother and father are not, first of all, men and women. And this is what 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 um, what it's needed in a way that you come more back to your position of a woman, and then you can meet your husband and 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 your loved ones on a totally other level, and you can receive. It's not so easy for you. This is this is a big task for you.
and this when he goes in steps and it, it is some steps and it's a bit like for Anka have patience because to, to go out of the old it's always it's not easy to step back and back and back and and the way is through your heart the wisdom and the trust of your heart And the very practical information, let them do what they want to do. Don't interfere. Don't try to control. For sure, when, 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 when your children want something, it's not an order, you say no. But they, they, they are not like that. So what spirit asks you if you want to, want to change your relationship for the better, that it is, it is through you coming back to your sweetness and femininity and stepping back really and concentrating on you and your softness and allow yourself this softness in yourself first. My information is having a look what Antoinette will tell you. I hope this has resonated. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm looking at the card and the animal card as well, Sita, and... I'm receiving at the same time that Kaya is receiving. Um, so what I'm and this and, the, and you asked for numerology as well. So I'll, I'll move. I'll, I'll first talk about the card. To me, um, when I look at the Swan, um, I guess we all know that story about the ugly duckling and the and the Swan and 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 that you know and and that's coming to mind now and. I, I look at that card and it's number 60, so it reduces down to a six. So it's a six of the six and you get a six. So it's it's really, really strong for you, Sita, that you need to connect with your inner harmony and your inner peace. And, and I would go as far to say that you have never really connected with that before. You haven't allowed yourself. You haven't had the time um, because you've been looking after everyone else, you haven't actually had the time to sit and, and find where that inner harmony is. And for in, in re, with your relationships, because you asked a specific question around relationships, I feel that you have to find your inner harmony first. And, and it's going to, and it's not... It's not going to be a rediscovery. It's actually going to be a discovery. Because <laughs> I, I feel like you've never actually connected. You've never actually allowed yourself to connect with it. And, and it's, it's in resonance with what Kaya said about the mother and the father rather than the man and the wife, the, the husband and the wife, the man and the female. And if it is relating to that relationship, I feel that it's something that both of you have to do um, because you really have not connected to yourselves first. And, and, and it's going to be this, this process of self-discovery for you both to actually move forward in another direction because the, the old direction is not working um, and it's no longer aligned with who, who you, you'd been doing a lot of work around your, your um, going out into the world and finding who you are. And now you have to find yourself in relation to that relationship. So in order to do that, you've already started tapping in, but I think the other person also needs to tap in and it's, it's going to be a discovery, not a rediscovery of each other um, because you've never seen this part of each other before. Mm. That's what I'm receiving. And it's in line with your numerology because your personal year is about to finish in two days, Sita. Your birthday is coming up on the 8th of June, oh. so happy birthday. Um, so you're moving from completion into new beginnings. So this last year, you've been closing up cycles. 
you know, leaving behind what you don't, what no longer aligns, completing cycles. And this is a perfect time with Saturn being in retrograde because Saturn is the, the planet of karma. So it's it's almost like this particular relationship that you're asking about is, is closing a cycle and opening a new if you choose to go that way. But it's going to need your introspection because your personal month is a seven and seven is all about introspection so your numbers are, are gelling beautifully with messages um you know seven is about spirit, your spirituality and your learning and going within and self-discovery and and actually um retracting you know, refrain, going going inwards rather than being everywhere. And I feel like you're here, you're there, you're here, you're there. You're, this person needs you. So it's it's really it's going to be really important for you. And I know it's hard for you because I feel like, but I have to I have to look after this. I have to do this. I have to do this. This is going to be your challenge for you to to this month for you to go in and have time for yourself and have some time out and look at what makes you happy and what brings you peace. And I think you're going to make some discoveries that you, you're actually going to be quite surprised with because you've never allowed yourself to connect with those. So it's, it's very much so a time for you to sit with yourself, to find your own balance. Remember the yin and yang that we put up at the beginning and that's also very very indicative of of a relationship you know there's the yin and the yang in every relationship there's the yin and the yang, and the yang within ourselves so it's finding that balance and that inner harmony and and i think the other person also needs to indulge i'm going to say indulge in some self-reflection and and really sit and and watch and listen to the, your soul and what you actually want and what you haven't actually allowed yourself to connect with yet it's really going to be important i feel for this relationship going forward because you're going into a one personal year so it's all about new beginnings and you know taking the lead and integrating and and perhaps i feel that you do have to take the lead and and you're very good at this because you are the matriarch you know the it's almost like you are the on that picture on the swan you have the crown like it's almost like you are the matriarch. Um, but now you have to be a queen in a different way. <laughs> you have to be the queen of yourself. And you have to be the queen of your soul and, and you know, be the matriarch of your soul and allow yourself to go inward and have a look, have a really good look and find that love and balance that is within yourself in order to be able to, to project that into the relationship that you're asking about. Yeah, and it's so good. That helps. So interesting, Anton, it's, I just, there, there's so much beauty to unfold what I see. And I found interesting as Antoinette and I, we are in contact between these um, events as well. And I hope it's okay to share that we both on different, very different stage in relation to Antoinette, you're married since over 20 years. How much is it now? 20, uh, 23. 23, what I found, wow. And I'm, <laughs> I'm dating at the moment. So we are on very different stages. And we have something in, in common as well. And this is really fitting what, what I see in this card. And first, we never both were there in this place as well. And we start to be really honest and vulnerable with these two different men. And, and this is how it starts first at all. You know, we, I, just, I just, in my last version, I try to change him all the time to the better for sure, but it's manipulation. And if you want the other one to be different, you you show him that something wrong with him. This can't be the way, this is not light and love. This is I want we you love to be different not to be triggered here. So, yeah. and just again, so we have learned that on the many level, it always starts with ourselves and it's, it's the hardest work, <laughs> it's the hardest work. It's so hard. 
And when we start to do things different and to be different and to have the courage to really share from our heart with our loved one, it changes one thing, it changes things in the other one as well. And it's a big invitation. And, and, and when I can truly say, I'm sorry that I said that I wanted you to change, I wanted you to be different, or when I just in this stage where I am just to make this big promise to myself not to pretend to be somebody else just to be honest with a lot of fear that i'm too weird too different but i know when i start the, as all my other religion i started to pretend something different something someone different and this was the base of the relationship and this was for sure there was a big deception on both sides because the man did the same thing as well and then you're standing there and saying who is this person <laughs> Or you, you, you start to pretend all the time and you feel so uncomfortable one day with what you pretend to be because it's not yourself. Or you start mm -hmm. to understand that you pretend on one level. And you can't, you can't sustain it because it's not you. No. So you can't, you know, and, 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 and you know, it's, we're giving this advice to you, Sita, and believe me, we know how hard... <laughs> How hard it is. Um, as Kaya said, we're both dealing with, um, you know, being that bluntly honest with ourselves that what are we really doing? Like what, what, you know, and, and taking, I guess, responsibility for, for something that, of course, was coming from a beautiful place. However, it's placing a condition on the relationship. It's placing a condition on the love. And, and that is not that is not unconditional love and we have to build to unconditional love and and you know and it's and it keeps on evolving and it doesn't matter how long you've been with the person yeah. or around the person it just keeps on evolving <laughs> yeah and 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 it's again and again it starts with ourselves when we change everything is changed and yeah and when there's deep love, even when there's so many problems, but when the deep love and, and the wish to stay together is there, the other one will shift as well. But out, out of, of him or herself and not out of your wanting. So what I had, I saw the potential of, of, of I see always potential. And my, in my last read, I wanted him to live this potential. And for sure, out of my love in one way. But I... I signaled him all the time that he's wrong as he is. And I didn't want to see him as he is as well. So, yeah. It's a leap of faith. It and is so it. And it's difficult, but, you know, you're supported. You're very supported. I hope that helps for you, lovely. And thank you for always supporting us as well. We love seeing you every every time. Thank you. Okay, who have we got? Christiana. Christiana. She wants rooms. Do you want to start? Sure. I can start with that. Yeah. Um, and Kai, if you can just have a look and see if she's written if she wants a card. I'm not sure if she wants a card. I, I will pull a card anyway. <laughs> we will have a look. I'm just looking for your rune, Christiana. Okay. So I shall show you your rune. So this is the rune for you. And I don't think she had a specific question. No. Kaya, did you? No. Okay. So this is a beautiful white one. So in my in my collection, they're not all the same. Some of them are white, some of them are brown, some of them are, are grey. So I will just find the corresponding meaning for you. Let's have a look at this. Do they have numbers? No, they don't have numbers, and, and I just go, okay, so what I'm reading from is my list. Like of, oh, of, yeah, so this is like when I've, when I've channeled the, the, the symbol. So, wow. so first you channel the symbol, 
then you channel the name and then you channel the meaning. So um, I've had to, I have to now go and find <laughs> the, the symbol that actually that it relates with. So it's the, it looks like a lightning, um, <laughs> looks like a lightning strike, Christiana. Okay. Okay. All right. So I have found it. So this rune is confidence. Oh. And this is your message. Master oneself. Accept. Be strong. Embrace. And be thankful. So that was the message that was channeled at the time that I created this room. And for me, it's um, the message. I'm really getting like lightning bolt. Like it's it's like, um, and it's shining your light, right? So the lightning bolt's coming through, and and it, they're showing me they're showing me just this lightning bolt, and and it's just it's just like when you have a thunderstorm and and you have you know it becomes dark the clouds come dark and and then you have the 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 lightning bolt that just lights up the sky i feel that when with your when you have the confidence you just light up like you just mm -hmm. light the sky and and it and it's almost like you you're just this light that goes through the darkness that just lights up the darkness but you're going through a process of finding your confidence and you've, you've had to work through, you've had to work through some hurts and you've had to work through certain steps and, and you've had to make some difficult decisions, I feel. Um, you know, decisions that you were so conflicted and torn about. Um, and, and, I, and I feel like you've already made a few um and it's it's about shining your light and it's about being that lightning bolt and and i love it how it's on a white white rock because it's like the even though the the drawing is black it's like it's your your lightning the your lightning bolt is lighting up and making everything everything light um making the darkness light so it's for me, it's it's about your self mastery, looking at what I can't figure this out yet. Here, yeah, okay, we've got it. <laughs> um, it's about your self mastery. It's about looking within yourself and looking at what is holding you back. Like what is actually holding you back from being confident, and working through those steps to find your inner strength. So again, very much in line with the topic of tonight, like stand in your power, you know, shine your light, strong and bright. So it's, it's about concentrating on your strengths, not so much on your weaknesses, which I think maybe you might be prone, prone to do. And that's what, that what, that's what brings you down and, and lowers your, lowers your confidence. Or perhaps there's other people that bring you down, but it's it's knowing that you have that inner strength within you to rise to rise above and be that lightning bolt that you need to be to the world, you know, and first to yourself, but then to the world because you have this incredible inner strength that I think that you're not even aware of yourself. And, and often we compare ourselves to others and we, we think, oh, that person is stronger than me or, or they, they're more confident. You know, confidence is something that has to come from within and it comes from our self-mastery and, and working on ourselves and, and working on healing our wounds and, and moving towards strength and being able to embrace that strength. And I think that was, yeah, and that was another word that was related to the, to the reading, embrace you know, embrace that strength and, you know, you, I feel like you've had to make some really difficult decisions and, and it's been really hard on you 
And the key, I think the key is to be thankful, to find gratitude in having that opportunity because that opportunity actually showed you just how strong you are. And now you have to harness that strength in order to increase your confidence mm -hmm. so that you can take the next step, whatever, whatever that may be. So that's a, that's a beautiful room for you, Christiana. I hope I hope you you um, you've enjoyed that because this is this is really cool me doing my runes. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm really I'm really excited about it. So I, I hope that gives you some guidance and and I'll swap over to Kaya and, and see whether or not they want some other validation or confirmation for you. Yeah, and, and I was thinking how can you reproduce them? But well, we will talk about later that how I <laughs> I'm guided to with the card the Muse Tarot, Christiana, for you. And I just liked this reading a lot, Antoinette gave you. And I know how strong you are. So, oh, this is interesting, this card. Five of materials, have a look just on the picture. This is really interesting. For, for me, the first thing, it seems this hand and, and this is little person lying here. And this, like a like a vortex, but a dark one. And here see the golden golden gate, the golden gate with the flowers. And and as we are friends, and now where you are at the moment, so. But I see that I feel when I. See See this hand and this person lying there curled up like an embryo. But there's some grief work to do for you as well and really grieving like as if something has died. And there is something dying in yourself at the moment. And it is something really old what you don't need any longer. And what is standing in your way to live this, this full confidence, what Antoinette was talking about. And what happened on the outside is showing what is inside you. So in a way, the universe and you as well, you have co-created the perfect events on the outside that you can heal and overcome and, and really let die. This is for me like a part of you, you no longer need it. This is the part with, you're not playing small, this is not what you do, but you, you dim your light. You dim your light by yourself because you, you say, my ideas are not, not really so important, not so interesting that, that, that this is this, this is not, not um, seeing yourself worse and taking yourself really serious with all your intuition and your power. There's something, and this is, this is a condition, the parts you brought from other lifetimes, and there's a lot of education around your family system, and you have chosen this family to overcome that as well, who, where you learn that, that your ideas and your uniqueness in a way as well, because you're really unique, are not welcome in the world. And you have internalized that that there's like there's something intuitive coming up you want to do this and as as we all you have this voice saying no better not and then yeah, it's like dimming your light by yourself you dim your light by yourself and this part in you is already dying because you, you make a lot of work and, and and you work through that and all what happened the last time is there, and this is interesting, as Antoinette said, being grateful as well. At the end, what, what, what's hurting for you at the moment is big gift on the longer way. And it was needed like it was. So you didn't make anything wrong. 
you acted like you it was meant and like you could act and everything what you think is your part of what happened and you have a part in it and it is perfect because after this grief and after the it's not even allowing but because it's happening anyway and you're allowing that it, it's just a process that needs time to let this part in you die and go once and for all you will reach the golden gate with the flowers and the light and you often live this already you, you you know how it feels to be there it's not just you're only here and you don't know how it is you live this and as long as this part is still partly alive because it's really dying this is the word this part is dying and vanishing and it's because of the work you've done so you have your part in this you you are not fully there and you will be soon fully there so this is what i got and antoinette has pulled another card i saw i have because and, and they just want me to show it to you and not actually talk about it um and it's a beautiful card this is what will happen next the age of light yeah. so all the work that you've been doing christiana you will you will be in the age of light Beautiful. Thank you, Christiana, and thank you so much for supporting us. Yes, and being steady with us. And, and yeah, so yeah, I talked at the beginning with Antoinette, and, and we are steady in the process of how we do this. And if we put too much work out, and then we come back to our following our, our intuition guidance, how much we receive as well through these readings. Um, on, on every level and that you trust us and everybody who is coming back trusts us and being a part of your path like you are walk part of our path it's so beautiful as well absolutely and we appreciate it so much and and it fills our hearts to know that you know you what we tell you and what the guidance that we give you resonates so much and and you know you write you write these beautiful messages and and we assure you that we go back and we have a look at all your comments and we love reading them and and it fills our heart to know that we're in service and and guiding others and supporting others on their journey so thank you so much Clarissa. Yes. Now, Clarissa would like a animal card. And a reading. Uh, um, numerology. And numerology? I think, yes, because she has put down her birth date. Mm -hmm. Or if you would like to something, do something different. No, no, no. All good. I don't know. You, you want to start with the card while I do her numerology, Kaya? So... Clarissa, an animal for you. You didn't have a special question. So around shiny light. This one out. Clarissa, what do you need? The turkey spirit is coming out. Give with grace and gratitude. I love the energy of this animal. <laughs> and, and the information I got that you're so rich on many levels. Really, you are. And it's kind of it's something you don't know about yourself. And I, it's, it's interesting, it's a bit like what Antonia told Sita. So there's, there is a richness in you you never have experienced in this lifetime. Maybe not in others as well, but we talk about this one. And you, there are moments when you enjoy, when you really, when you're laughing, when you're happy, when you don't thinking, when you're just enjoying life. You're radiating 
and you nourish people with that without doing something different than being happy for yourself. And when you're not in a good mood, you are you're not so well, when you're not so connected, not too stable in yourself. It could happen that you have the feeling that you get not enough or that you there's this there's a lack for you. And then you're searching on the outside to fill yourself up. And, and this has come to, to, to moments you complain to others or to, to loved ones and, and have this feeling in yourself that people don't give enough to you. And this is why you're disconnected to the richness in yourself in these moments when, when, when you're not feeling well. And what I will ask, what do you need to get more in contact of this really rich, it's richness, it's abundance of love, of joy. I get a lot of joy. This turkey is, is talking about a lot of joy. That you feel nourished by yourself and, and you're, in these moments, you're in this contact, you, you just give it out to everybody else around you and you're, you're like a, light bulb for people and they like so much to be with you they feel so comfortable and and enriched as well so what do you need to be more in contact with this abundance in yourself so the first thing is really a very practical thing so every time when you feel like when you have the feeling you don't get enough from other people so just be aware okay I know this. What is happening here? And the first step is stop projecting this on others. Very aware, saying, okay, I know this feeling. And it is like a feeling. It is like something is not in order. I don't, I just give all the time. I don't get enough. So when this is coming up, then say to yourself, breathe and say, what's happening here? Is it true? And then, then get in contact with your own neediness. But it's okay, we are all needy a lot of time. And have a look what you need, what you can give yourself to feel better instead of projecting this on others. This is a really practical exercise I got as an information. So every time when you have the feeling there's not enough for you because there's always enough for you, you're provided with all what you need on every level. And most of all, from yourself, you're a really rich person in yourself. You have such so much love in yourself and, and such an abundance. So first step, stop. What's happening here? Is it really the other ones? Or do I disconnect from my own abundance? And why? And I can't tell you why. This is your work to explore. When this is happening, why? And what, what, what would help you to reconnect? And for sure, I can tell you every time when you when you enjoy something, when you laugh, you're so much in contact with it and you're such a radiate person. But when you don't feel good, it's not so easy to say, so I will have joy now. So then you need another way. And what I what what I can feel, what would help you in these moments when you have the feeling others have to give you what at the end you don't give yourself in this moment. It's stepping back a bit really breathing and taking a moment and then maybe just watching a funny film or making a walk in nature alone, enjoying nature, little things, not a big thing. Until you, you, you reconnect with all this abundance in yourself again. This is what I have for you, Antoinette. Thank you, Kaya. Clarissa, listening to Kaya and receiving the messages as well. So the turkey, yeah, we often, even though we're not American, we often um, associate the turkey with Thanksgiving and it's all about giving gratitude and, and, and being thankful. But I'm going to go um, with the numerology reading because 
it's um, your personal month number is an eight for June. So eight is all around personal power and abundance and prosperity. And these were some of the themes that were coming up when Kyle was reading for you. Um, and, and I feel that um, when, so this is going to be, this is going to be important for you for this month to actually look at <clears throat> your personal power, stepping into your power, shining your light, being, being bold and bright. You know, it's, it's about prosperity and abundance and, and it's, it's about connecting with the, the power within you. And I, 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 what I was receiving was go back to basics when you are feeling that you are disempowered, go back to basics and be careful not to empower yourself by disempowering others. It's like, I think I mentioned something about um, doing a practical exercise and stopping like stopping yourself when you're feeling disempowered or feeling frustrated or angry or perhaps you feel like you're not being heard or you're not, you, you give, 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 but you're not receiving. I'm feeling that the gratitude is, is one, one thing that will help you, having the gratitude, recognising the gratitude, but then also knowing I cannot empower myself or I cannot project or force onto somebody else power by disempowering that other person. Now, let me explain. Um, we, often, we often feel disempowered because we put somebody above us. So the way that we tend to deal with it is either we try to bring that person down or we try to push ourselves up to find some sort of balance. And the month of June is all about balance. But what I'm receiving is, is when you're in that state of disconnection and frustration and I'm not getting anything out of this whereas the other person is getting everything, stop, think about the gratitude and then think about okay, I cannot go overboard. I cannot empower myself by disempowering someone else or by putting yourself above them in order to give yourself a false sense of abundance or prosperity or equal equality or equality of exchange. So it's not about overcompensating um, your feeling of lack of acceptance or lack of validation or, or lack of return, which is, you know, all, all about abundance and prosperity, which is around the eight. It's about your personal power and how you choose to show that personal power to the world and sometimes there's a very fine line in between how you exercise your power and what is ego and what is not your true power not your true light but is coming from ego and it's coming from a place of not being heard or a place of um you know projection I want to say so this is going to be a challenging month for you Clarissa to, to look at um, finding the power within yourself and not necessarily extending it in the form of projection to other people in order for you to receive it because it, it's something that has to come from within and we certainly don't empower ourselves by disempowering others and, and, it's, and once once a step is done, this is so liberating. It's freedom. Freedom. Yeah. We are not longer dependent on others. 
to no. feel empowered and, and rich and so we want you to find a new richness within yourself and a new abundance and a new gratitude and new and your new um, level of personal power within yourself by not involving anyone else. Yes. Bringing it from within. So you have a challenge ahead of you this month, Clarissa. And you and have something beautiful to learn. But if you like the, to Turkey. Look at the turkey. And the joy that happens, you know, with Thanksgiving and how people sit and think and take a moment and, and realize how how grateful they are for what they have and and that there is really no measure. You, you you have your own measure of abundance, you have your own measure of prosperity. What you measure as being abundant may not be what someone else measures as being abundant. So take that personal power back. And look within yourself and find that abundance within you. And you, what you can do as well is sit down just a moment and have a look what you enjoy without other people. What just, just brings you joy. Make a little list so that you have tools when you come in this, this moment. And we all know that. So it's not particularly you. So I know very well to feel not seen, not heard, not not be valued by others and I want from others and I'm still on my way to learn that nobody else can give me what I don't give myself oh. so <laughs> not particularly oh. and and make a little list what you enjoy even when you're alone what can help you to bring you back in this richness in this abundance of yourself when you lose it yeah gratitude is okay Thank you for joining, Clarissa, and I hope that message helps for you. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have Sally. Is that right, Kaya? Yes. Thank you, Sally, for coming back and joining us again. Yes, it's a pleasure. We're so happy to see you back with us. And I think she has said whatever comes through. I haven't seen anything else, so... Sally, this is the last moment. If you want something special, write it now if you have a question. Being drawn to draw a card. Then start. I will From announce, I will go very quickly to the toilet, but I will be back in a minute. Just no problem. So as, as, as Kaya answers nature's call, <laughs> I think might be the most diplomatic way of putting it. I uh, I will start with the card for you, Sally. Um, I'm I'm drawing the card from the Soul Spiritual and Self Alignment deck. So the card that's coming out for you is an eleven card, and it's mindfulness. So I'll just give you a bit of a look at the card, and hopefully you can. Whoops, going the wrong way. Hopefully you can see that. So the message on the card says self-alignment awareness remind, reminds us to stay in the moment as messages come. So as I, as I listen to what's coming through, the main part is messages that they're wanting me to focus on and, and um, they're wanting, I vaguely remember there was something last month about you listening to your intuition um, about, about what's going on and, and I think, I also think that this card is, is reinforcing that for you, um, mm -hmm. that your alignment, your self-alignment is actually within your intuition and and having time to just sit and and I mean I know I know the card says mindfulness and it's it's this this new age word that's going around but I I find it I find it really um, funny because to me when we listen to our intuition we're not listening to our mind 
<laughs> so the word actually um, sort of kind of makes you think, oh, mindfulness, I'll listen to the mind, you know, um, have time to listen to the mind. No, um, that's probably not, not what the meaning or the channeled message is, is about because the mind plays tricks and the mind is our ego. And, and it's so I, I guess I, I find the word mindfulness um, a little bit paradoxical. <laughs> Um, because to me, it's, it's like, no, when you go within yourself, you, you actually shut off the mind. <laughs> so, um, but that's just my, my interpretation. But I, I think what, what this card is telling you is that you need to listen to the messages of your soul, you know, for you to be aligned, for you to be able to receive the guidance that you need to. And, and I think you, you know this already like you you know that you have a really strong intuition and you know that you can connect um, but the mind is causing some havoc and I vaguely remember it was something on that theme last month as well for you Sally um, but they really want you in this month of June where we're looking for inner harmony and in, inner balance for you to go into your own inner compass you know, the, the compass within you, your own yin and your, your yang, to be able to hear the messages that are mostly aligned to you because for you it's really, really important for you to go with the messages that are within you and not so much the messages that you hear from other people or from the noise around you or, or even from the mind. So it's, it's, you know, if you look at the picture, it's, it's a picture of reflection. It's, you know, it looks like a Buddha um, of some sort. But, but then we also have um, have about, it's, it's about capturing the moment. It's, it's about being in that moment. And I think this is what mindfulness is supposed to mean, even though we all have our own um, meanings around it. Mindfulness is, is about capturing that moment. And, and for you, it's really important for you to have those moments. So first of all, you, you have to focus on having those moments, allowing yourself to have those moments. And then be really present in that moment without the mind and and sit and listen and because the answers are within you they're all there and and you I you really I really feel strongly that you know this but there's other factors that are playing playing out around you and it's really really difficult for us to shut the mind off and and not listen to to you know it's it has a heart, it has a it has a stronger it's much louder at times in our intuition because our intuition is that little nagging voice that little whisper you know and when you have when you have the mind like you know screaming and you have the intuition you know, this little this little voice it's, it's this conflict and, and, you know, it's, it's the conflict between the mind and the heart and, and, and which one to listen to. And if someone is raising their voice, then we're probably going to hear them more than what we're going to hear the little tiny voice or the tiny little niggle or the little feeling that you get in your solar plexus or, or you know, the, the perhaps the goosebumps you get when you think about something, you know, it's, it's, it's normal that we would listen to the, the one that is louder than to the one that is just really subtle and silent. So we're going to need you to, they're going to want you to sit with yourself and, and try to shut some of that louder noise out and actually listen to, to those whispers because that's where you're going to find alignment you know, and, and once you start listening to those whispers, you'll start to be able to take your steps towards, you know, finding your soul missions, finding your soul purpose, looking at, you know, looking at where you want, listening to your heart. And we've been working so much, you know, on expression and, and listening to our heart and building foundations. But this month is a special month for you to just sit and love yourself and listen to yourself and allow yourself 
to feel and and hear those maybe very very soft whispers that are coming through in you know and and as you give it as you give them attention and you concentrate on them they will become louder and slowly and slowly as you as you travel through your journey they'll become it'll become more imbalanced or you'll listen to your intuition more than you what you listen to your mind i mean we, we need to listen to our mind because we're humans we, we live in a human experience however we need to have some sort of balance and inner harmony and that's what june is all about you know finding that inner harmony and inner peace and and i really think with you, you don't have any peace unless you're aligned. You're, you're a very energetic person. You're a very feeling person. And you know straight away when something is not right. And then, but then you fight it because there's so many other external factors coming in. So, so yeah, so they're the messages that are coming through for you, Sally. So it's it's a case of self self love, self reflection, having time to be in that moment, capture those moments. Those moments are precious. Like a moment comes and then it goes; it won't come again. So you know, it's it's a case of just listening and learning and and allowing yourself to be there in that in that precious moment so that you're able to re receive that message that is coming through for you. Kaya, do you have anything to add? Yes, beautiful, Antoinette, thank you. What I see when I see this card, for me, it's three things. So the first thing is this, when I see the face of this Buddha, it's really going inwards and I like Antoinette said, listening to your intuition. And then for me, mindfulness is something like awareness as well. When when you go when you go away from the mind, the mind is full. So I have like this your heart and your intuition. Then there's the ego. We all have this protection system. Cry, no, don't do this, don't listen to this, this is dangerous. No, don't go out of the uh, comfort zone. And then we can use the mind as a tool as well. So, and we can we can use it as something positive and not not saying the mind is what is crying there, but this crying there is ego, and we all have this. And 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 it was once upon a time when we were children or in other lifetimes, it was so important to rescue us. So I always say say thank you to the voice. I hear you. And I will try something different because I have this voice of my heart as well. And this is where the mind can step in as something we can use. So being mindful and aware what's all going on in our heart, in the ego, what information we get, and then sort them out with the mind. This is what's coming through with this card for me, that, that the mind can be, that we can use it for our behalf and not be used by the mind or controlled by the mind so that we inverse it like a translator of the information of the heart and to sort out what is coming from what direction ego heart so and what and for sure to understand the messages of the soul and the heart it's always to go inwards and breathe and I once tried to meditate and I had this idea I don't have to think. That meditate means to stop thinking. I tried that. I failed terribly. I can't stop my mind. I don't know if some people can do that. I can't do that. And to accept for me more and more, okay, this crazy mind of mine, I'm a Virgo with Mercury and Virgo, so really highly analytical. And to say this is a part of me, what not means I have to listen all the time or I have to follow. And to accept that this is going on and working all the time and so, and not to fight it any longer as well. And maybe this is helpful for you as well. And I am guided to pull the muse to her for you. And this one will come out and this one as well. Okay, two. Not on the earth for this time. I start. Yes, Kelly, the Empress. And I think this shows what we have talked about. So, 
the wisdom, the wisdom of the universe, the wisdom of your soul is coming from here's the solar plexus, but from his heart as well, the soul. And and when you see the face, it's really um, having something in there with the Buddha face. So the, the Empress is looking inside while receiving. And for me, it's not just this is shining the light from outside. It is a bit like for Zara. I don't know if you heard the first reading. So by going inward, you start to shine. So you don't have to do something to shine your light. The more you you come back to yourself in, in on every level, and the more you step back for this moment of time. So this is guidance for June for this moment. The more you shine on the outside, and you're very powerful as well. Look at that heart shining. Yeah, the heart and, and the planets, all the planets, all the wisdom of the universe. And this is a really beautiful card. Mm -hmm. And very, very powerful in a... I'm very quiet in this power. This is not like the horse from Dara. This horse was really running. <laughs> and this is more like we're really going inwards mm -hmm. and connecting. And the power is in you. Connecting was his power. And then I haven't seen the second card, so surprise. On the other hand, this is the Ten of Wheel. And what is interesting, it's again this form of the of the the, the circle mm. and the planets. So for me, it's it's like. Whatever it's going on, here's a lot of going on outside. For me, you, this is your system and there's so much going on. Take it in. Don't react on it. So just for sure, when you have inner reactions, feel them and let them be there. But don't act it out. And this is the mind card. This is so, yeah, we have to do this. We have to do this. And then we have to do this. And then we have to do this. And you get lost when, when you follow this guidance of your mind ego and this is something you, you like to make a lot of things at the same time and and a lot of action but this will not help this month this month is really going inward and maybe you're young and I, it's interesting because I, I work with young colleagues and I know for myself they have so much fear to miss events so when Everybody is drinking here every evening and they can't any longer, but they will go there not to miss something, even when they don't enjoy the evening. This is coming now for you. Maybe I don't know if you go out a lot um, to allow yourself to miss things in a way and hear what your mind is crying and saying, telling to you, but you have to go there and you don't know what will happen then and you will miss things. You never will miss something. Maybe you will miss yourself by doing too much. Mm. And then take the time and sitting with this, with this panic to miss something. Just be aware of this and what's behind that. What could you miss? Is this really something to miss? Maybe go with your mind through this process as well and feel. Yes. yes. And then as Anton would say, come back to the present moment. What's going on in this moment? Why do you fear to miss something? What could you miss? What's what's really underneath this feeling of you could miss something? And just I can tell you, you can't miss anything. So when you when you follow the guidance of your heart, your heart will know when you have to be somewhere and really because it's in alignment with you and there will something happening that is important for you and this will nourish you or you will learn something or you will meet new people. Your heart will know and then there are events, you have the feeling, I have to go there, but this is more like running away from yourself. And when you do this, you will come home and you will feel empty. I, I think you know this. We all know this. And yeah. to learn step by step what's the difference. Yeah when you are guided from your heart to, to go in action, to do something, to meet somebody, 
and one when it's your mind your ego saying you you we have to do this because so and then it's more like running away from you and you miss yourself and 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 yes yeah. and you miss yeah. this, this you miss moment. that moment yes and then that's when this comes back in yes yeah So train this. Sally has already body. said that it's helping. So it's resonating with her. So Perfect. thank you, Sally, for reading that. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for coming back and joining us again. And, and um, it's really good to know that we, our guidance is helping you. Thank you, Sally. So now we will do a bit longer than two hours with our last reading, but not so much. Yep. Not that much. And I just want to shout out to Ellen Ash that's jumped on. Um, towards the end and she's just written thank you for all we do so I put up a big heart so we thank you to thank you, Eleanor for coming and joining us and, and listening listening in and now we do Danny so Danny um, I'm feeling that there's a rune for you so okay so, Danny, this is your rune. And it's, it's really, really funny because I have another rune that is this one. So it's really the same but turned sideways. But they were adamant that you needed this one. So obviously this is, this is the one that you need and this is the message that you need. So, Danny... This one is self-trust. Believe, accept, be strong and be grateful. So when I look at this, it's, it's the figure eight and it's all about, you know, your, your personal power, your inner strength. And, and your prosperity but when I when I look at this it's it's like well if you turn it around that way it's the infinity but it, it needs to be this way so it's it's really bringing home the theme of of tonight's live you know step into your power shine your light and be bold and bright so and, and I know you've done a lot of work around expression. And I know that you've been stepping into your power. And it's now a case of working on that self-trust so that you're able to continue with what you started. This is what they're telling me. You've had to you've had something quite challenging and you know aid is about standing in your power and shining your light and it's taken a lot of self-trust and this rune is being pulled out for you because it's like keep going keep going you know build that muscle around your self your self-trust you're on the right track Keep going with what you believe in. Don't don't hesitate. Don't don't um, don't take a step back. Because this is something really really important to your soul mission. I feel it's the center, the core of one of the things or the thing that you're here to do. And I know that you have a lot of influence on children. And it's about sharing and it's, it's about standing up for them. I really think it's about standing up for them and standing up for what you believe in despite the opposition that you may be getting. I mean, I feel like there's opposition there. And then, you know, it's normal that when we, when we experience opposition to, to something that we feel really strongly about, we can either go one or two ways and just keep going and, 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 you know, embrace it and just go full on forward with it. 
or we can take a step back because we start distrusting ourselves and thinking maybe the other person might be right. Maybe it's not right for me to do what I'm doing. Maybe do I trust myself enough to, to keep pushing on? But the feeling that I get is whatever this is, it's, it's, it's a challenge. Um, however, it, whatever it is, it's something really, really important to your core and you believe in it so much that you believe that it's worth fighting for and it's 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 and this rune is here to tell you trust yourself you know embrace embrace that belief in yourself and you've been going through this process of actually you know building your confidence and and being able to express and and going in and looking at what your heart desires are and you've connected with that now and and now it's it's the it's the okay now now you're there you know but just keep on trusting keep on trusting yourself with the process and trust the process and know that the process that you're going through is necessary for you and it's necessary for the end result and and it's not a straight line you know it, it's not I want to go from A to B and it's, it's a curvy line and, and there's a lot of obstacles and, and bumps in the road. But you, you need to accept what you believe in. You need to fight for what you believe in and, and be strong and be strong and be grateful for that you have the opportunity to be able to, to influence the lives of so many in such a big way that maybe you're not even aware of at this point yet. It, it may be a little thing, but you have a lot of passion behind it. And that passion will give you the trust to push through and keep going. So believe in yourself, Danny. Believe in your and trust, trust your trust what you trust what you believe in. And, and you have that fighting spirit and it's going to really push you along. So that's your room, that's your room reading. Amazing. I'm going to push over to Kyra and see if she yeah. has something. I parallel try to figure out how you can reproduct them. But well, this is what's amazing and, and what was coming up for me when I listened to you, Antoinette, and saw this rune and and that then you're fighting or you 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 have so amazing and this is really, really intuitive information you are like an instrument from the universal order to to help change the school system on a profound level and you start with your class and what i had also that every every child you fight for you fight for your inner child as well so what is what is happening at the same time and maybe this can help you even to 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 go forward you heal your inner child parallel to the healing and, and and the support of the children that they can unfold with all these education trash we have to work through now so you find that they can just unfold how they are what is so 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 amazing I will pull a muse tarot card for you as well. And you have chosen this position. So you are chosen and you have chosen this position, this work. Well, yes, they are jumping on the earth. It was connected. Yeah, they're all jumping around. Well, <laughs> six of materials. And this is what I got with this card is, is this is like you and the children, you and your inner child, you and what you fight for. And this is all this, this beauty that will unfold with this, your shining and what will um, spread worldwide. So just you are not the only one fighting for or going for or having this purpose to change the school system 
and maybe this is coming maybe it would be interesting for you i don't know how i i have no idea to connect with other teachers worldwide teachers or people or maybe create something like a network so what's coming to my mind is the new earth children group maybe we can send you a link to go in contact with other people who have a similar soul mission like you because this could help you to not feel so alone like you are at the moment in, in this environment where you are even when you already see how you can infect colleagues little by little but as I feel as well as Antoinette that your role is so much bigger than you can see at the moment and, and I can just tell you that this um, lightworker group where Antoinette and I met helped me so much and connect with people all over the world and see I'm I'm alone in France okay but I'm not alone with this soul crying all the time you have to do you have to help you have to co-create new earth it was so life-changing for me to connect with people speaking the same language and and this is coming up for me to have a look for you how you find other souls all over the world it's mm. not just in, in australia because mm. this will empower you as well to feel and to connect with people in america in europe in africa who are on the same mission like you on their ways and to make exchanges and to feel how that they are that not not only you're not alone in your school and not only alone in Australia, but that there are so many people um, working together with you on changing the school system profoundly. Information, information, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And, and I see like a dance with this card and it's like making magic happen. Yeah. It's like, doof. Yeah, like it's, yeah, it's really yeah. Like, We go together, yeah. we dance and we, we, we amplify That's what I feel as well, yeah. it's a really beautiful card and and you have and you are on a really good place because yes you have some shadows you have some things to go through and I think for you relationship is a big challenge in your life there's things to to work through and and with your soul mission they're, they're not really obstacles this is really open in you and you're so protected and supported on this level. And this is what I have for you, and it's amazing. And maybe I can, we can send you a link. I, for me, it's this new Earth group coming up. Maybe Antoinette, you have other ideas, and have a yeah. search on, on on YouTube as well, on on Facebook, if you found education spirituality put this work yeah. together if you found groups really make a research by yourself to connect with yeah i think it's a really good idea because it, it's i feel like for you it's it's feeling very overwhelming and and you know when it's feeling very overwhelming and and you feel like well how am i going to do this and you don't have to do it alone and and there, you know, there are, I'm sure there are other um, educators in the world that uh, share your vision and share your, you know, you're a star seed, Danny. You're, you know, you've come in for your own mission, but also for a collective mission. So you have a, a double mission to, to change the world. And that is that is no small feat, you know, and sometimes we we get overwhelmed and, and you've been put in a position, you've chosen to be in a position of influence. And you are, you know, you are trying to educate these children into a new way. And you need support for that. And and it's you're fighting, you're fighting a, a system of of that is eons old so it's it's very it's a very strong system you know and and it's it's like you need you need the support behind you to to have a voice to have your voice heard and that will help to actually find i'm sure there's groups out there that that you know uh, are with other educators and and other young young people that work with children that actually want to improve the way that 
that these these kids are learning and these the what these kids are learning and how they're learning and and you know instilling them the the values of a new earth where where it's very foreign to them you know because they're they're being taught by other people and they're being you know so it's it's there's a lot of influences there so yeah so have a bit of a look and and for sure um you know we can send you the link for new earth children and you can have a look at that page and and if we come across anything else we will also um pass on to you danny so yeah so thank you for coming on and and i hope that's been helpful for you and just know just know you're not alone you know no. there are so many people in the world that can support you okay okay and Sian has come on and just said hi it's been hi. a busy time but happy to see you briefly thank you sean so we we decided that we really limit on two hours we did a moment longer yeah. but we will Not stop the now post, the reading Maybe you will come back next month. It's a first Please. Sunday now. And step a little bit earlier in and you can get your reading as well. That's right. And and um, once again, you know, we we appreciate you all so, so very much for coming on and trusting us, giving us permission to read for you. It's it's very heartwarming for us to, to be able to do this. And we have so much fun doing it. And it's been it's been fun introducing my runes to, to you all. And and um, it's it's opening up a whole new creative um, funnel. So we'll we'll see we'll see where that's going. Um, again, we remind you about the wisdom gathering circle. For next for next Sunday, uh, we'll be putting up an announcement for that shortly, probably within the next day. Um, if you would like to join us, we'll be digging deeper on this topic um, about shining your light and looking at your soul truth and what is your soul truth. And we'll go through some some journaling and some reflection around around that. Um, so if you would like to join us, please contact either Kaya or I. The, the information will be at the bottom in the description with the announcement. Um, so that's next Sunday at 7 p.m. Australian time, 11 a.m. Paris. Yeah, in Paris, yeah. 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 Um, and once again, you know, if you feel that these messages have resonated for you. And if you feel guided to give us a little donation for the work that we do, we would absolutely welcome that and appreciate that so much. And uh, we will put the links to our PayPal in the comments. Yes. Zara, Zara gave us a little tip. <laughs> and also the links to my page, because I think everybody's linked to internet. If you would like to read a little recommendation about our readings it would be beautiful as well that would be helpful great. for us so yes and i just can say so if there are not too many people on we are both giving sessions as well and i will be back in one week home i'm so looking forward to that and you maybe you see i have the the feeling i have eight three years minimum in the last <sighs> week i will i will relax then and i will be able for sessions personal guidance as well and I'm looking so forward so this was a huge thing with work <laughs> mm -hmm. and I'm also much. available for sessions so if you'd like to go onto my website or Facebook page you can have a list of my services and I'm working really really hard to get this card deck out to you all and if you go onto my website you can have a little bit of a sneak peek I've put up a few of my drawings and a few of my cards so it's antoinettethompson.com and um, I can't wait to get it out to you. It's, it's definitely a process, but I'm hoping in the next couple of months it'll be in my hot little hands and I can start working with the beautiful card deck and, and showing it to you. So um, please go and have a little bit of a sneak peek on my website. And thank you all again for being here. We really appreciate and love giving you all these beautiful messages. We feel very grateful and blessed to be able to give you this guidance and we hope that it really helps you through the month of June. Thank you for tr trusting us, sorry. <laughs> and see you soon. Either see you soon. Circle or next once in the readings.
Have a good two. Thank you all. Much love. Bye, Bye for now. Bye.